Good evening, everybody. Coming to you live from Pinnacle Bank Arena in Lincoln, where it is championship Saturday here at the Girls State Basketball Tournament. Millard North going for its first ever state championship tonight here in the capital city. The Mustangs taking on Lincoln Southwest in the Class A final. Millard North beat the Silverhawks by 20 back on opening night. That was three months ago, though. In the second quarter, Mustangs down one until Lauren West gives Millard North a 13-12 lead. The UMKC signee a game-high 31 points. Later in the second, more Mustangs. Nicole Avila Ambrosia behind the back, lays it in, puts Millard North up by four. Mustangs impressed with that. Still in the second, Avila Ambrosi again. Are you serious? The circus hoop and the harm. 13 points for the junior. Millard North up five. Still in the second, it's Lexi Kraft. The triple is true. Mustangs take a 26-18 lead. Definitely a first half worth dancing over. Time winding down in the first. Avila Ambrosi again, this time beats the buzzer. Millard North up 16 at the break. Mustangs student section likewise what they're seeing. Fourth quarter, Jaina Green drives in for the bucket. Miller North up 52 to 42, and Mustangs fans starting to feel it. One more for good measure. Lauren West with the two and the tattoo. The senior would not be denied tonight in her final high school game. Let the celebration begin. Miller North brings home its first girls state basketball championship, 62-52. It was an amazing feeling, you know, first time in Miller North history to win. I will never forget that feeling. I'm so proud of my teammates, and, you know, this is what I've been working for for four years. That's the end goal, but, yeah, I'm, it's amazing. If we kicked it into gear and took no plays off and committed to 32 minutes of being fully aware of everything, offense, defense, rebounding, toughness, we knew we could do this. And it's an amazing journey, the, the growth they've showed all year. It's going to serve them every day in their life. Congrats to the Mustangs. C1 Championship Wahoo Bishop Newman facing Lincoln Christian. These two split their previous two meetings this season in the third quarter. Tied up at 15, Newman's Elisa Rezach. Three of her game high, 14 points. Cavs take a three-point lead. Newman fans fired up later in the third. More from the Cavaliers, this time Lindsey Teal. The nice lefty reverse layup. Bishop Newman up double digits. Cavs fans starting to feel it. Then in the fourth quarter, it's Newman's Taylor Stir for three. And for the first time in nine years in the third time in program history, Bishop Newman wins the state title 45-29. We had a little poster on the door that said, our grit, his glory. And so, I mean, just all those emotions running through your head and it's just an amazing accomplishment. It just means the world to me and to my fellow seniors, I know, because we've been working together since fifth grade, since our dads were our coaches. Just, I don't know, it just means the world to have this around my neck right now with them. D1 final Fremont Bergen facing Dundee County Stratton. The Knights going for their first ever Girls State Basketball Championship. Third quarter, Bergen's Lauren Baker buries the jumper, puts the Knights up by three. At that point, the Bergen student section going bonkers. Fourth quarter now, the closer, Haley Kempf, in her final game for the Knights, two of her game high 17 points as Fremont Bergen brings home its first ever Girls State Basketball title, 36-27. We had great chemistry with all the players, and we uh, did it in volleyball, so it just helped us in basketball. They've done things that, that's obviously never been done. We're, we got this sitting in front of us here for a reason because of these two girls, and everybody else has played a role in what we've done this year. 